right so i've got the two frames painted which are going on doesn't matter about the back because obviously they're being glued on um and in those frames i'm going to add something from the golden age of glamour paper pad by hunky dory you've seen it before just give you a brief look at it got some stunning pictures in it they're double-sided pages but on the double side you get like uh, art deco patterns so you can use either side of the page depending what you're looking for really really nice love the way they do half picture and half pattern on some of these really really nice pad you've seen me do something with this pad before it was a art deco gift bag from a felix container um for cat food okay so if you haven't looked at that one go and have a look at that might interest you there we go just a quick look at it because you've seen it before and there's all bits at the back that i haven't used up yet might be able to use something here no it's just sods and sods okay so i want to frame one in this one that will fit nicely without having to cut too much off that's nice yeah that's a possibility get one of those out and then we've got a heart shaped one that's going to be more difficult let's see what we can do with this and then what I'm going to do is attach them off screen And then I'll come back and show you, obviously. Yeah, this one's going to be a bit more difficult. That could work. Let's get that one out. I think that's it. I think it's going to be those two. It's even like the band. Doesn't all fit in, unfortunately. Okay, so we go with those. So this is going to be the heart one. So what I'm going to do is mark around the edge although it's going to be a lot smaller just to cut it out first So you could either have it, as you could see the picture through the heart, hearts there, or you could cut it even smaller. So 
so you don't have any of that and you just see the, the pink and white paper on the board um, I don't want to risk it in case it doesn't work so I think we'll keep as is and of course when you're gluing you've got to try not to go through the holes but it is only paper you're gluing so don't be too worried Right. Okay. And I've gone crooked, but looks like it'll still work. Just going to trim it up. There we go. So that's the heart one. Right, so that's that one. And then we've got the other one, which is a lot simpler. This one's squarish. So this one I have to be trimmed. Yeah, because of course we've got the the dots here. And the wavy pattern on the edges uh, so you want to try and cut it inside here so we get rid of all that Right, let's try that. Just a little bit more there. all right got to try and get this i think i'm going to use nuvo actually to get it in the right place because obviously nuvo is a bit more forgiving It's just got to dry and then I'm going to hot glue that to the board so that's those two it's a shame about this I should have done it in Nouveau as well see if I can get it out with some tweezers a flower or something now and I've got these wooden gates that I've coloured that I've painted in gold okay so let's look at it so far so I've added the flowers to the gates 
you can't really see it through the gates but there is a background of a garden in there added a tree next to it these are all Anna Griffin flowers and Anna Griffin plants I've gone around the chandelier with some and the odd one around the pictures decorated the top of the gates there you can see the bridge inside then we come down to the stairs we've got the key the rose the shoes candle masquerade mask champagne that's dripping into a glass perfume bottle the cork Then we've got the birds behind the bird cage, books on the fireplace, a little chair in the corner there and a lily plant. I'm just going to add the um, lace to the outside now or it might be um, braid. I'll see what I've got. And I might still do the rope down the stairs. Right, so the project is just about finished. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. I just want to show you the island. So this is the nest in the entirety. I've pulled everything out, thrown it on the side. You can imagine, it's just, it's gone all over the place, gone round there, I mean it's on the floor, you can imagine. But this is what we do in our Strive to Create, so I'm just going to add the last final bit to it and then we're going to have a look at it in detail and I'll show you what was done. Okay, so final look at it now, obviously I can't fit it on the island so we're going to have to do it from here. So we started off with the canvas from the charity shop, which was heavily printed in black. So I did a couple of coats of gesso um, and I was going down the road of adding some Dawn Bibby pink sparkle shimmer to it. That didn't really work out because it wasn't very shimmery, so I changed my mind and added a coat of white acrylic and then you could still see the black print through that so I knew that I would have to cover it with something so I decided on the Anna Griffin paper and card uh, in pink and put the transparent border in between you can get that off Amazon if it's still available um, to make it look like wallpaper okay so then that was the background and then down the sides I just added some pink washi with gold uh, accents on it and finished it off so let's go into the staircase so the staircase has an Anna Griffin gate on the top with an image of a bridge and that came from the Thomas Kincaid everyday card making collection you've seen those pads before on the channel it's not that particular pad but it is one of those pads decorated it with Anna Griffin flowers and a butterfly at the top and then we come to the staircase so we've got a mat on the top step and we've got some shoes a key, a single rose, we come down, decorated it with stair rods using cocktail sticks and beads. We've got a candle in this corner because there was a hole there when I bought it, so I had to cover that up. I covered the actual stairs themselves in Art Deco paper. We've got the masquerade mask with a tassel attached. We've got spilt champagne with a glass and a perfume bottle. And then we've got the cork. I had to add a post to the bottom here because there was no post on the stairs. Just used a cocktail stirrer for that. 
and then I wound some cream braid down the staircase just to finish it off okay so then to the left we've got Anna Griffin flowers coming off the stairs two urns with flowers in and then we go to the fireplace so the fireplace was painted gold these two little china pots here were beads and then I added pink roses a single rose and some books to the shelf we've got some birds in a cage with some mulberry flowers at the top and those stairs were painted in the same gold and that's that gold shown you a few times from the pound shop i haven't got it to hand but i bought a few of the tubes so i'm using them up and then we've got a chair in the corner and some lilies these gates here are wooden gates painted gold through the gates you can see a garden but you can't see it on camera i don't think and i just intertwined some mulberry flowers a topiary tree at the side some trellis and another flower at the top then we go up to the top and we've got assorted Anna Griffin flowers all over the place big big section in the middle here these frames were painted in the gold and then I added two images for this one and the right one from the Art Deco uh, Golden Age of Glamour pad and I've just put trust your heart on the top there from a cardboard cutout then we've got the chandelier in the middle which I printed on card and then just added gems to it to bring it the picture out and then we've got lady with her perfume bottle and added a Anna Griffin bow there there are glue threads everywhere so do excuse that okay so that's it it's finally finished oh and the edging of course i went round with lace all the way around and i used a pink lace and a white one so it's absolutely finished now that's it i'm not adding any more to it i think it'll fall over if it's any heavier <laughs> um but it's completely different from how it started obviously you could add as much as you like when you do it you don't have to add anything too busy at all you could have it very plain um i just wanted to do something art deco with it and i wanted to use those stairs in the fireplace so i hope you've enjoyed the video okay so i want to thank you for your likes and subscribing Please subscribe if you haven't already. It means so much to me. Thank you for taking the time out to watch and I'll see you on the next one.